thanks very much, uh, Gianfranco, for already introducing um, uh, the topic of the toolbox. Uh, let me quickly check with you if if you can see my screen. I think you do. Uh, then, uh, then, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, a good day. Um, uh, for um, uh, Sonia and myself, opportunity to tell you a bit more about uh, the toolbox already mentioned by uh, Gianfranco. I will start uh, with uh, explaining what it is, uh, what the purpose of it is, and then uh, Sonia will take over to uh, tell us on the, the validation part on how to uh, get implementations in the toolbox. Um, maybe to give uh, two practical examples of what we from the DSSC mean by tools or implementations, those things that, that get into the toolbox. And um, for that, I mean, you're probably all familiar with uh, the, the notion of building blocks as being described in the DSSC blueprint. And uh, as of the first release, version 1.0, there's for the technical components, of, of for the technical building blocks, also a list of components, data space components that you need to set up and run a data space. For example, a participant agent, also known as a, a data space connector. And we see many, many of implementations already out there, both open source and uh, proprietary uh, solutions, commercial solutions that implement such a participant agent. And so this is an example of what we mean by tools, by implementations that can get into the toolbox uh, to, be, uh, to, be, to be listed there. Uh, another example from um, a uh, business and organizational perspective, so, so to say the green building blocks in the DCC blueprint, there we see a building block that's called contractual framework. I'm reading from right to left here. Uh, and although not, not yet part of the current version of the blueprint, but we foresee also a specification of components that uh, provide these um, these um, uh, these functionalities as described in the building blocks for the well the, so to say the non technical building blocks as well let's say for example a data product contract template uh, that you can use to to offer your services your data products and then there are again different implementations possible where um, uh, where these contractual uh, contract templates are being provided uh, like for example the CTR rulebook Template number nine in particular, which sets the data set terms of use. This is, these are just two examples of what we think of in terms of uh, tools. And I will come with uh, a few um, um, uh, well, um, uh, limitations on, on uh, our, our scope definition of these, uh, these tools in a bit. Here visually represented how we think, how we see that these implementations in the toolbox link to the, to the specifications as provided by the blueprint. On the top layer, you see the uh, depicted the, the building blocks in our blueprint. Then in the middle, part of integral part of the blueprint are the overview of the components. Those a limited list that we think these are the essentials to, to set up a data space. And then uh, 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 a large toolbox with implementations uh, that exist out there. So let's let's look at this toolbox from a data space participant perspective. Why do you need a toolbox? And we think that to set up and participate in data spaces, you need solutions. You don't start um, uh, creating software from uh, from scratch. You can you you want to have an overview of what's already out there, what's ready to use, what you can pick up and and start uh, uh, integrating or implementing with. Uh, and at the same time, we see that there are already many data space solutions out there, and sometimes it's hard to see the forest for the trees. Um, hidden in nice GitHub repositories, or maybe provided on other websites or initiatives that, that exist. Um, and there, um, uh, the DSCC thinks um, uh, the toolbox can, can help out with, uh, with uh, providing such an overview. And finally, 
uh, at this moment, uh, well, any solution can say, well, we adhere to the DSSC guidance, uh, both the blueprint and other principles defined by the DSSC. Um, uh, and, uh, but how are you sure about that? And how do you select a future-proof uh, solution? So that, this is why we, uh, from a DSSC perspective, will provide a curated catalog of these implementations. Moving to the other perspective, so as a solution provider, why do you want to have your uh, your solution in there? Well, more or less like the yellow pages, uh, being listed in the toolbox allows for improved findability by potential users. And, and um, the, um, uh, the, the link of the implementations in the toolbox with the building blocks as defined by the blueprint will also better position your solution in terms of uh, well, terminology uh, uh, being commonly used in the in the in the area of data spaces. So here, the toolbox, a curated catalog of implementations, and we say it's open for any implementation that adheres to the DSC blueprint, and that requires validation. More on that later by uh, by Sonia. Um, a few scoping uh, rules. Um, um, just to be sure, it covers both the technical and also the non-technical uh, support tools. So it's not limited to software only. It includes both software and non-software, like, like I said, um, and uh, also open source and proprietary solutions. There's no limitation on, uh, on that. And um, anyone can submit a tool to be listed in the, in the toolbox. It can be the owner or the maintainer of the tool can be an open source initiative that does that, but also individual data space enthusiasts who think, well, this is a really nice solution I'm using and others might benefit from that as well. You can also um, uh, register um, uh, uh, tools created by others. As we said in Blueprint version 1.0, there's a list of technical components that we now identified including a catalog, um, a data space wallet, a vocabulary hub, and already mentioned the participant agents, also known as the data space connector. And this is for phase one, we open up the, the listing of, uh, of these kind of implementations. Um, we do want to make a note here because at this moment, an alignment is taking place with the simple initiative who's also working on the data space architecture uh, and the implementation and several implementations to align this, this overview of data space components so that it will be, uh, well, um, uh, uh, so an, an, uh, what I want to mention is that for the, for the next version of the blueprint, uh, 1.5, we expect to have a, a slightly updated overview of these, uh, these components. And furthermore, a overview of uh, the, the, uh, uh, non-technical components will also follow in the next release of the blueprint. The toolbox, we expect to release a first version of it uh, during the autumn, after summer. And the uh, and our current idea, we're, we're working hard on, on getting this done. Our current idea is to extend the data space radar functionality for this by adding implementations next to as a, as an artifact in the in the radar next to the current list of the data space initiatives um, this this tool will allow to filter search and find the tools in the toolbox and potentially also be able to link them to the data space initiative so you can see ah this and this data space is actually using this and this set of um, of uh, implementations so our call to action now is to please submit um, um, uh, the implementations that you want to have uh, uh, in the first uh, release of the toolbox. That leaves the question, how does that work? A short overview, you can go to the request form at the DSSC support um, uh, website. Uh, a link is here provided in, as part of the uh, webinar sheets. You can find it as well in the on the DSCC website. There you can submit a request um, to list implementations in the toolbox. 
you will be asked to fill in a form with some metadata about the implementation, who created it, what is the uh, readiness of the, is it already being used in, in data space initiative and, and, and more of these kind of metadata um, uh, parts. And after that, after you submitted that, you will be contacted to provide a self-assessment where you can validate uh, whether that implementation complies with the DSC blueprint. More on that by Sonia. And if all goes well, we will include the um, implementation in the first release of the toolbox. 